Minecraft world to start working on a new project. So let's get started. Um, so last time we were on our creative world, we started a new project, however, I couldn't help myself and I finished it. <laughs> so this is the finished Stardew Valley Farm replica. Unfortunately, as I was getting ready to record, a fox decided to drop in and kill my chickens and my rabbit. Which is unfortunate, because the rabbit was the perfect color, but alas. So now I know uh, that I need to fence off <laughs> the surrounding area so more foxes don't come in. Um, so we have the barn. We have the greenhouse. I'm picking up the remains of my animals. This is very, very sad. The little barn, there's even an egg. I don't even want to throw it because Mr. Fox will eat it. And did I do the fruit bat cave? Yes, and that is a bat in this texture pack. All right, and I did make the house two stories just to be able to have a little bit more room. Got a cat inside because the cat will also kill the chickens and the rabbit. At least the rabbit, for sure. I'm not super sure about the rabbit. Oh, right, sorry, uh, the chickens. Okay, but the project we're working on does not use the super cute texture pack, so uh, let me switch this off really quick. All right, there we go. Oh, right, they're infinite. Let me get rid of that. Okay. So, the new project we are working on is a basically life-size dollhouse. So, the design that I'm going for is based off of a dollhouse that I saw, and I thought it was really, really pretty. Um, but we already have the colorful castle, which is pink and white, because I was definitely thinking about making it pink and white. But maybe we could do it in shades of black to white. So black, white, and gray. So all we're going to be doing today is experimenting with this um, to see like what works and what doesn't. So I don't have any black concrete. One of the things about this build that I specifically made it large for is so that we can have different outside and inside wall colors, okay? So on the inside it looks red, but on the outside it looks like shades of gray. So, let's see. And this is all just kind of experimentation. None of this has to be final. Windows, of course, are very important. Y'all know I love windows. Yeah, so I specifically made it a little bit larger than I normally would so that we can have those double walls throughout. So the, the color of the hallway, let's say, will not be the color of the bedroom, that type of thing. And also the floors could be too wide as well. So the ceiling can be a different color than the floor above it. Um, I also thought about, like, Blackstone and Gilded Blackstone, so maybe we'll take a look at that. It's not super important. So, I was also considering blocks. And we'll experiment with blocks versus panes. Because this is a dollhouse. Let's see. I actually really like this. Because... You could have, like, shelving and stuff on the inside. Ooh, that's kind of cool, actually. Okay, okay. I like that. <laughs> so, this thing here is supposed to be three tiers tall. <laughs> I want to 
see it. Three tiers. Let's do it. <laughs> this thing is gonna be freaking massive. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. <laughs> it's gonna be so tall.
accent pillars of a different color or maybe white